Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. You're looking at my uh, uh, ultrasonic transmitter and receiver kit. Ultrasonic transmitter when powered and you press that button it transmits a 14 kilohertz signal which can be received through this uh, receiver. It has uh, three, st three pre-amplification stages and a comparator. The comparator uh, allows for you to, to get a square wave output um, and block out ambient signals. However, when you use it in its normal configuration, you can only get, you can only receive the signals properly up to maybe 1.52 meters, which is no good for a lot of uh, applications. So what I've done is I've made a quick modification to it, and I've shorted R15. If you short R15, you change the configuration completely to an amplifier. However, while you get a lot more, uh, you get a ton more uh, transmit distance. Uh, the problem is, is the LM386 on board has a very, it's a noisy chip. And so if you've got essentially the negative input grounded, then you're going to see some funky, some funky output noise until you actually transmit. So what I'll do is I'll actually show you the benefit to this, the benefit and the problem you'll see with the noise when you make this modification to the kit. Now, I can't even check to see how far back it can transmit because my lab is not huge uh, but I imagine it'd be at least uh, at least five to ten meters I'm about five meters back uh, when I'm transmitting I'll show you in a minute but right now I'll show you my oscilloscope and I'll show you the noise on power up so I'm probing the output of the receiver and I'll turn on the power output goes high good and slowly it will deteriorate you just have to watch it for one second. Out oh, there we go, starting to deteriorate, and that's the output noise. So, as you can see, that's pretty gross. You won't be able to use that. However, if you're using your, uh, if you're using this output to interface with your microcontroller, the great thing is, is you can use your microcontroller to only pick up certain signals. You can essentially use your microcontroller as a, a, uh, a bandpass. Now, this is just noise. But as soon as I plug in my uh, transmitter, I can transmit a nice clean ultrasonic 40k signal. So now what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll set it up so I can go as, uh, really far back and I'll transit from there and you'll see the integrity of the signal. Okay, I am standing now about five meters back and I'm going to transmit now. So there's no compar there's, there's no comparator on here. This is just uh, the output uh, essentially saturating on the on the high and low end. That means that we have a really solid signal receiving. Now I'm going to try moving the receiver back towards the oscilloscope. I'm going to try stop transmitting now. Now I'm going to bring the transmitter even further back. Lots of noise, but now it's closer. I've got about six and a half meters distance between the transmitter and the receiver. Transmitting now. Now the great thing is, is you don't even have to, it's receiving so well now that I can aim my transmitter away from the receiver. And if I do, if I aim my transmitter up at the ceiling, I'll lose some of the signal integrity, but it's still, it's bouncing off the walls and receiving. So now I'm assuming it'll probably transmit at 10 meters or more. It's a very strong receiver when you make this modification. However, that output noise really sucks. So the only way you can actually use this, this circuit is if you're integ integrating it with your uh, microcontroller. But I wanted you to be aware of this possibility. Very easy to do. All you have to do is short R15. Turns it into an amplifier rather than a comparator. So you've got essentially three uh, passive amplifier stages and one active amplifier stage. In its current configuration, its comparator, in order to get a good transmit, transmit distance, just remove or do not, do not place R15, short R15. And that essentially turns the comparator into an amplifier at full gain. And that's why we see the noise. That and the fact that the, uh, the LM386 is just a noisy chip. Anyway, I wanted to show you that. And uh, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask.